Heads up, this is not going to be a fair comparison. Ubuntu has two chances to outperform Windows 11, and those chances are slim and none. Let me explain. I was able to install a Windows 11 on two machines from the dinosaur age. One machine from 2011, one machine from 2013, a Lenovo and Gateway respectively. Windows 11 performs flawlessly, as in no bugs, zilch, zero, nada, completely boring, I guess. Now let's talk about Ubuntu, the latest 23.04. It looks great. In fact, I think Ubuntu looks even snazzier, jazzier, prettier than Windows 11. Of course, with Linux in general, you can customize the desktop to make it look the way you want to. And Ubuntu's default desktop looks pretty freaking good. It looks better than Windows 11. I'll just say it. Ah, my young Jedi. You can't judge a book by its cover. You guys might recall a couple months ago, I had Ubuntu 22.04 dual booting alongside Windows 11. You know, as a Windows user, I don't ask, I don't ask much from a Linux-based system. What do I ask for? I ask for the KISS method. Keep it simple, stupid. The basics. I want the basics to work. Audio, visual, turning it on and off, checking emails running updates, rebooting, and I'm done. As a Windows user, that's all I ask for for any Linux. I think that's more than fair. Well, a couple months ago in Ubuntu, I did some updates and I had no audio. The audio output said, dummy output. Well, thank you, I love you too, Ubuntu. And that was the end of Ubuntu. I deleted that and installed the latest king of Linux operating systems, Chrome OS Flex. Now back to this Ubuntu. Yeah, look, if, if you're a Windows user, this is not difficult to use. It's not difficult to learn. It looks great. Problem is, I think, the GNOME desktop, according to Lydus Torvalds, who is considered the father of Linux, he called the latest GNOME, well, back in 2011, the GNOME shell, he called it an unholy mess. You know, years later, that is still freaking funny. And I think the GNOME desktop just feels like it's always a work in progress. It's either feels incomplete or it's buggy, whether it's problems like I had with audio. I mean, I literally, for the life of me, since doing Linux since 2006, I could not for the life of me figure out why I had a dummy output. And to be honest, I felt like a dummy output. Windows 11 versus Ubuntu 23. If you feel adventurous, if you have a spare machine, a spare drive to test this, yeah, I think you should. This may work out for you. But the bottom line, the bottom line, Ubuntu has never been the same since the last great Ubuntu of 2016. Once it switched, they switched to the GNOME desktop. It has felt at times like an unholy mess. It just feels like it's incomplete. It looks great, but looks can be deceiving.